Our next film is called Clean and Sober, and it's one of many new films out now trying to deal with the problem of substance abuse, be it drugs or alcohol. Michael Keaton, known for his breezy roles, plays it serious this time as a young man addicted to cocaine and to booze, and he embezzles $92,000 because of his habit. What's more, a girl he spent the night with dies of an overdose at the beginning of the film, and Keaton is suddenly on the run. He finds a safe house by checking into a drug rehab yeah, clinic. Um, I heard about the program, and it sounds really good to me. I just want to make sure I understand the deal as far as the uh, confidentiality aspect is concerned. Yes, well, the program is completely confidential. So no one would have to know I was in here. Keaton's flip attitude is brought up short by Morgan Freeman playing a street-smart drug counselor, a former addict himself. You don't even know you got a problem, do you? You know how long you've been straight, man? Twelve days. They're very good together. That's a powerful scene, a quiet scene. There's a love story angle to this film as Keaton finds a woman he likes at the clinic, but actress Kathy Baker spots him as just a guy on the make. Listen, I just want you to know, you know, if, uh, if sleeping alone starts to get you down. You know what I mean? I mean, sometimes... <laughs> I just know how tough it can be to have to sleep alone. I'll bet you do. There's a lot to like about Clean and Sober. The film does not glamorize drug use. Keaton does a convincing job of playing a con man who is also conning himself about his addiction. Morgan Freeman, who got that Oscar nominee for playing a pimp in Street Smart, is rock solid again as the counselor. And the ever-reliable character actor M. Emmett Walsh is terrific as a member of Alcoholics Anonymous who tries to take Keaton under his wing. I've named every major member in the cast. They and the knowing script by Todd Carroll do open her eyes a bit to the widespread problem of not just drug addiction, but the equally difficult problem of self-rehabilitation. There have been a lot of hackneyed movies made about this issue. Clean and Sober, I think, is an honest, solid treatment of the subject. I agree with you, Gene, and what I liked best about it was that it was not just some kind of a noble sermon or some right. kind of preaching about how bad drugs are and how noble Michael Keaton is. Here's a guy who does almost everything wrong. Correct. He's addicted not only to cocaine, but he's also addicted to lying. Mm -hmm. And Kathy Baker, the girl that he meets in the cocaine and booze uh, rehabilitation place, is addicted not only to drugs, but also she's got into a re an addictive relationship. So it's a movie of, that about addictive her. personalities. And, of course, the worst thing these two people could do would be to fall in love with each other which is going to screw up both of their recoveries and almost does so that the movie is very realistic in showing that it's not just a case of you check into Betty Ford and then the sun rises the next day yeah. but that it takes honesty and it takes an ability to admit that you have a problem and that you do need help what I was particularly impressed with was the work of Michael Keaton now mm -hmm. here it, mm -hmm. we have seen Jane Fonda try and play an alcoholic in uh, her film and I can't come up with the name of it but it doesn't matter because the film wasn't that good the morning after morning after Mike that was played almost as a thriller It was like halfway into it Michael Keaton does a very good here's a guy who is you know a mr. jolly in most of his films from the first moment that we see him in bed hung over and we've seen Michael Fox try and play a, a drug addict in bright lights big city not as well Michael Keaton an excellent job in this role. Michael Keaton and everybody else in the movie too. I yeah. mean it's a it's it's a lot of good performances. I think very impressive. As far as this subject is concerned, maybe the best movie I've seen on it. Coming well, up next, no, sorry. Sid and Nancy, I think, is also an excellent subject on uh, the on abusive drugs. Sid and Nancy never quite got to the rehab clinic, of course. No. Yeah.